Again, uh, asante ni sana, our customers, as I said, karibu ni sana again for uh, this webinar. And uh, good to note that we have very good numbers uh, who have already joined. Um, and we are happy to, to see you. Uh, I think we already 65 and I know uh, uh, many are joining. Uh, good to see one of the topics that you have uh, asked us to, to provide during our Thursday webinars uh, on uh, opportunities that are there on the stock market is what we're going to have a discussion on the same and uh, to take us through the presentation. Uh, we have uh, two presentations. One is on the MSME investment opportunities that are there uh, in the stock markets. Uh, because we want to diversify our way of investment. And uh, so we'll have Dennis Langat to take us through. Uh, Dennis, Dennis Langat is a uh, relationship manager at Kingdom Securities Limited. And uh, we'll also have another session on e-credit for businesses uh, taken through by Moses Lop. Moses Lop is a manager in MSME e-credit and uh, he'll be taking us through that. And then after that, we'll have a session for question and answer. Uh, so we'll have a panel discussion after that, uh, taken through the, the question and answer session by both uh, Dennis and Rob. So uh, we're starting immediately and uh, we will um, uh, end uh, at exactly 12.30. We want to take one and a half hours. And uh, in terms of a uh, few crowd rules, just to make sure that uh, we put our videos and microphones muted. Uh, make use of the chat box uh, just to share your comments and your questions, share your feedback when requested, and uh, feel free to share your reactions uh, down there again, just to make sure that uh, we, we know what you are getting. Above all, we want you to enjoy the session uh, as we proceed. Now, as we progress, we want to really want to know where you are and who you are. And uh, as we proceed, we request you that um, you can uh, share your name, where you're coming from, and what would be your webinar expectation for today. So if you uh, can be able to see the chat box down there, please just uh, give, you know, take, uh, take a minute and uh, tell us where you are uh, and, and, and who you are. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much. Okay. Okay. As you do that, uh, as you do that, I want to. Yeah, so I can see, sorry, sorry for that, uh, we, we had muted. So good to see that we have Elisha from USA. We have someone from Yala, we have Christine. Uh, and, and, and Christine is saying we're looking forward to learn new ideas. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We have Dennis Kongoti from Nairobi. We have Ongela Okemwa, Victor. Yeah, good to see that we are coming from all over the you know, the country, uh, Arnold, uh, Evans from Mongatarongai, Frederick, we have uh, Kirui from Baringo County, Asante, we have Metrin from Bihiga, Frank from Nairobi, we have Benedict Abwao from Nairobi, Timothy, I can see the whole uh, country is represented from our customers all over. Thank you so much for joining and uh, we want to say Karibu Nisana, Let's um, learn. Today we have a very good topic on opportunities that are there in the stock market. Uh, just to say it's part of the feedback that we got from you on the due topic. Good to see that you already uh, continue to share your comments on where you are coming from and Haribu Nisana. This time now, now I want to invite um, 
Dennis Langat. Dennis Langat is uh, a staff. Uh, he's a relationship manager at Kingdom Securities Limited. And uh, he will be giving us insights on how we can invest. And he has done this one for long and he has a lot of experience. So I want to invite Dennis to pick it up and uh, you know, give us the insights. Asante San. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Peter. And uh, <clears throat> thank you, uh, our customers who have joined us uh, in this webinar. Uh, I want to assure that, that uh, as we begin the webinar, please uh, be ready to learn a lot in terms of uh, investment opportunities in the stock market. Uh, so I will be taking you on how, as, a, as, a, as an individual, you can be an investor and benefit from or by investing at uh, Nairobi Securities Exchange. So thank you and karibu nisana. Uh, so first I want to uh, explain to you exactly who we are. I think um, my colleague Peter, I've been taking you through uh, other webinars, uh, investment forums yeah, provided uh, by Cooperative Bank. Uh, personally, uh, we, are, uh, we are now introducing to you Kingdom Securities and uh, just, I just want to give you the profile of Kingdom Securities uh, before we start the session. Uh, Kingdom Securities is a subsidiary of Cooperative Bank. So whatever you see uh, Cooperative Bank, you are able to access our services. And our head office is at uh, Cooperative House, 50th floor. So if you are within Nairobi, you are welcome. Walk into our office. Uh, having an interaction with our staff will be carried in terms of how you can be an investor and also the product which are available at Kingdom Securities. So feel free to engage us through any uh, cooperative bank branches. Uh, we are also licensed as a stockbroker by three main regulators. That is uh, Capital Market Authority, uh, CDSC, and Nairobi Securities Exchange. Uh, when, when it comes to due diligence um, uh, for, in, for any investor, you need to be exactly knowing who you are investing through or with. So in this case, uh, we have got uh, a lic uh, the license as uh, required by the law, so you are covered. Uh, I know uh, testimonies out there might not be good in terms of uh, previous experiences whereby you engage other people and later on, maybe you are not able to, uh, to trust them or uh, something happened and you don't know exactly who to approach. So for us, we are fully mandated to advise you and guide you when it comes to any investment. So feel free to engage us. Uh, I will take you through our services, what we offer as Kingdom Securities. And uh, one of the key uh, service is opening CDS accounts. CDS account is a central depository system. Um, it's almost the same with the bank account for the banking system. But in our case, this is whereby when you purchase shares that are deposited, <coughs> when you purchase uh, shares, bonds that are deposited that CDS account. So in this case, uh, this is an account which will be showing a transaction. When you deposit money, it will show in that account. Whatever you are going to buy, it will show also on that CDS account. Uh, in Kenya, it's only stock brokerage firms which are allowed to open CDS accounts. So in this case, as I mentioned earlier on, we are fully mandated to do so. So, and uh, with the cooperative bank network, we are able to uh, assess our services. Uh, so in this case, you are can approach uh, or rather submit your document through any cooperative bank branch and it will reach Kingdom Securities for processing and will contact you or engage you uh, in process of opening that CDS account. So anytime you are dealing with shares listed in Nairobi Securities Exchange or are deposited to the, that CDS account. Uh, towards the end of this presentation, I will share you with you requirements of uh, opening CDS account and also there are a number of uh, types of CDS accounts which you can open with us. Uh, you can open as an individual investor, choice that is a personal CDS account. You can also open a joint CDS account. Um, if you have a, a, a registered group, you can also open one for, for, for your investment group, uh, the likes of JAMA or any group maybe which you have, com you have got a, a common crown and you feel like uh, you want to invest in a stock market. 
uh, we are we will guide you in, on how you can be able to operate uh, a CDS account as a group. Uh, you can also open a CDS account uh, as a SACO if maybe uh, you are you have a, a registered SACO and uh, you want to invest in stock market. I will be able to guide you. Uh, in this case, uh, maybe you could be a leader in that uh, CDS account. Uh, in uh, sorry, in uh, SACO, we, uh, you can. Uh, present the same to your members that uh, there's an opportunity in the stock market. And uh, if need, uh, you need us to advise or to uh, guide your members, we can be able to do so. Uh, another service is immobilization and transmission. Immobilization in this case is um, a situation whereby uh, we are converting the share certificate to the CDS account. Currently in Republic of Kenya, and specifically for the listed uh, companies, uh certificate is no longer recognized as a legal document for the same since uh, introduction of CDS account. So you are required to surrender a share certificate so that you can be able uh, to confirm them to the CDS account. You will be able to get a statement to confirm that you are a shareholder with a certain number of shares and for a specific company. Uh, even if you are to uh, use the same um, for uh, in somewhere else as a, an official document, the statement is sufficient, as opposed to uh, years before 2013, whereby certificate could have been requested from you to uh, for, for the same to be used for official purpose. So in case maybe you are still holding a share certificate, uh, kindly engage us so that we can be able to guide you in terms of uh, how you can have them in a CDS account. And also you could be having um, family members who are still uh, holding those share certificate. Uh, please advise them that uh, nowadays it's a requirement that they have them in a CDS account. As I mentioned before, approach any cooperative bank branch and you will be assisted in terms of how the process is. Also, we do have the transmission. This is whereby shares have been transferred from uh, one individual to another one. So uh, maybe uh, you want to uh, process a private transfer. Uh, Kingdom Securities is in place to uh, facilitate that process. Uh, also, maybe for the transfer uh, for uh, for succession uh, uh, process, we are also uh, mandated to do and but uh, to do the same. Uh, uh, but please uh, visit our offices or branches uh, for advice before you start the process. Maybe uh, you have someone uh, uh, a disease, and uh, for you could be knowing that uh, they held, they were holding shares with a certain company. Uh, we can, and you have the proper documentation to support the same. Uh, and, or even if you don't have the documents, kindly let us know. We'll direct you to the right office whereby you will be able to get uh, such information. Uh, uh, next uh, service is uh, trading on uh, shares, bonds, and derivatives. These are the key three products uh, provided by NSC at the moment. So uh, the three products are at the one which are commonly traded by investors uh, at Nairobi Securities Exchange. Uh, for shares or commonly known as the stocks, this is uh, currently we have uh, 67 listed companies. and. Um, We'll be able to guide you and show you which company is good for you to invest, which one is good maybe at any given moment to sell, or in case maybe uh, you have you got any inquiry or in relation to any listed company, we'll be able to guide you. For bonds, we do have the one uh, that is the government bonds and um, and the corporate bonds, which are also listed at uh, Nairobi Securities Exchange. We are will advise you and guide you in terms of how you can be able to do so. Uh, almost on a monthly basis, uh, uh, the government float a bond, that is the treasury bills and the treasury bonds. Treasury bills are uh, the one for uh, less than one year, and uh, also the treasury bonds, which has more than uh, one year. Uh, we'll be able to guide you in terms of uh, which bond is good for you and how you can be able to purchase that bond. At the moment, the uh, bonds are going for, for the bonds are going, uh, the one which is open right now is going for 12.8%. Uh, for treasury bill, they're around, uh, uh, going for a percentage of about seven, seven, seven to eight percent per annum. Uh, but uh, when you will be having engagement with you, we'll be able to show you exactly uh, which paper is available at any given moment. And then also derivatives, this was introduced uh, year 2019. Uh, it's still a new product, but uh, we can be able to, we have a, a competent team 
uh, which are well, uh, which has got a very uh, wide experience, they will be able to advise you on how you can be able to utilize the same to realize returns. Uh, another service is the research reports. When it comes to stock market, information is the key element. Making that decision in terms of what to buy or even what to sell at any given moment is based on the research. Like what kind of, uh, what do we expect on, uh, from any listed company? What is the what are the trending companies uh, at Nairobi Securities Exchange? So we have a research department whereby we normally they normally analyze uh, how market is uh, performing, and then from there they will advise you that uh, this is a good company to buy or even maybe to sell. What are we expecting in the near future? How how is the global economy performing, and uh, and correlate to our, our our local economy? Uh, what which uh, which sector is really doing well or which one is anticipated to perform better so we'll be able to share with you that information uh on daily basis and um, on weekly basis and also on quarterly basis when you are opening the cds account you are encouraged to provide your email address for purpose of easy communication uh, of the research reports we are also uh, can facilitate the IPOs uh, wherever there is a, a company which are listing at Nairobi Securities Exchange. Uh, we will advise you in, in, uh, and also provide the, the, the guidance on how you can be able to uh, participate on uh, such IPOs. Uh, likewise, to the right issues, right issues. This is whereby an already listed company. Uh, maybe they wish to introduce more shares at a, at a, at a certain uh, prices. That information will uh, share with you. Uh, at appropriate time so that you can be able to utilize the same and advise you accordingly on how you can be able to maximally utilize the, the same. Finally, is the advisory uh, services. Uh, this one summarizes now the whole process whereby you, and uh, when you approach us, you explain uh, yourself that uh, you want one, two, three, and then we'll be able to sit down with you and guide you on how you can be able uh, to maximally benefit from stock market. Uh, so the main question here is um, uh, why now you are you, you are supposed to invest through Kingdom Securities. Uh, in addition to uh, what I have uh, I discussed uh, on the profile of Kingdom Securities, uh, these are some of the key benefits uh, by investing through Kingdom Securities. One is that you will have access to NSC product. Uh, any product provided by NSC, as I mentioned before, Kingdom Securities is fully mandated to uh, to provide the same to uh, stakeholders. So we'll be able to share with you that this uh, what is available or what has been available by Nairobi Securities Exchange, and then from there we advise you exactly what you are supposed to to do uh, thereafter. Uh, this is specifically uh, for the listed uh, companies the, in terms of the shares as well as also the bonds. Uh, you will also have access to CDSC services. Uh, CDSC are the custodian of all CDS accounts. So in this case, uh, we are intermediary. So there are some services which are uh, provided by uh, CDSC, like uh, whereby you want to transfer shares. Uh, you have to go through a broker, in this case, uh, like Kingdom Securities, and we encourage you that uh, you can be able to do so through Kingdom Securities. So in case maybe you want to transfer shares uh, from one broker to another, Kingdom Securities will advise you on how you can be able to facilitate the process. Uh, if maybe uh, you are holding a CDS account somewhere else uh, with another broker, it is accepted uh, to have also with another broker. So uh, maybe uh, you have been, uh, you, you are already an investor and you are wondering how can you invest through Kingdom Securities? You don't have to worry. Once you talk to us, we'll be able to advise you on how you can be able to invest. Uh, maybe even with the holding with the two more than, uh, more than one uh, broker holdings. Also, if you want to transfer to Kingdom Securities, we'll be able to advise you on how you can facilitate the process. Given that, uh, uh, or rather the way I explained before is that our services are available all over the country. You see Cobank brand, there you are. You are able to assess Kingdom Securities uh, services. I can also assure you of a quality client service uh, through our invest, uh, experienced investment and research team. Uh, as I discussed initially, the importance of the, the research reports. And also, 
uh, when it comes to quality clan service there is uh, we have uh, experienced team also there who will be able to guide you exactly what you are supposed to do to benefit from uh, Nairobi Securities Exchange. We have a competent team, uh, but uh, we have also trained uh, 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 staff at the branch level. They will be able to advise you and also at our head office uh, for Kingdom Securities. Uh, one, once you also open a CDS account, um, you will be uh, you will be able to assess a relationship manager who will be able to guide you in terms of making realistic investment strategies. Our stock market is very dynamic. Sometimes maybe we don't know exactly what to do or how we can be able to benefit from this market. Uh, you will be assigned um, a relationship manager who will be able to uh, explain to you the kind of cycle which is uh, exhibited uh, uh, from an Nairobi Securities Exchange. So in this case, uh, you will be able to match your investment objectives with what opportunities available at Nairobi Securities Exchange. Uh, you know, as an individual, you could be having so many, uh, or rather considering several investments, and maybe you feel like uh, there's a way you can be moving such funds so that you can be able to maximally utilize. So relationship manager will be able to guide you that uh, for you to be able to maximize, this is what you need to do at any given moment. Because when you look at how the Nairobi Securities Exchange is performing, it's ever fluctuating. So we need to focus on when it is going down, how low is it likely to hit? When it is going up, how high is it likely to reach? So that you can be able to uh, buy low and sell high. And that is the main principle when it comes to investing in securities market. Like you pick at the lowest possible price and also sell at the highest possible price. For, 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 for us to, to achieve the two, uh, the, the, the high and the low, there are some very specific factors which must have contributed. So the likes of corporate actions, when a company is announcing um, their financial reports, what does it really happen? What do we expect? If, for example, like cooperative bank, uh, whereby we normally announce our results in the month of March, what are we expecting around that time? What are, what are we supposed to do now that we don't have uh, much in terms of corporate actions? So those are some of the uh, items uh, which uh, a relationship manager will be able to guide you. Uh, and also you can discuss, and as I mentioned before, uh, your personal uh, investment objective also will be factored in. So that by the time we are deciding that uh, we are going to invest in a, a specific company, at least we know that uh, you are within uh, your time, your time, your time frame, and also uh, you can be able to uh, sell at the right time, so that you don't really uh, pressurize yourself that maybe for some other reason you are selling before the intended time. Uh, uh, we are also uh, providing real-time trading platform. In this case, it's commonly known as the online share trading. In this case, you as an investor, once you open a CDS account. Uh, you are you and uh, you register. We, we encourage you that you register for online share trading. Um, and from that platform, you are able to assess direct Nairobi Securities Exchange. You are able to see how the market is trending, how each and respective company is performing in terms of the prices. Say that even if you are not maybe planning to uh, sell or buy immediately, you are able to keep track of uh, performance of any listed company. So that uh, uh, you, you can be able to, maybe if you are planning to add more, you can be able to do so at the right time. If you are targeting a certain price to exit um, uh, any, any listed company, you are able to identify at the right time that uh, a certain company have already achieved, uh, uh, or rather you have achieved your target price. So from there, you will be able to maximally utilize return from Nairobi Securities Exchange. Uh, when you look at how, or other the principles of a smart investor at the Nairobi Securities Exchange is more of timing, doing the right thing at the right time. You're buying when it is the time to buy. You're selling when it is the time to sell. Uh, as I mentioned before, this market is very dynamic. Any developing information uh, must have an impact uh, a, a, in our market or, or, or that listed company. If you are, if you have registered for online share trading platform, definitely it means that you can easily have that information. 
at, at your convenience, uh, at, at your comfort. So uh, the same platform also provide um, uh, services, uh, uh, a situation whereby you can be able to place an order yourself. You can be able to place an order to buy or sell shares. So in this case, you can be able to do it yourself. So instead of maybe planning yourself that you make a visit to any cooperative bank or you come to Kingdom Securities, you're just there, you click, you log into your account, you are able to um, see how things are happening. And maybe because of one, uh, because of uh, one, two, three reason, you are seeing that uh, the prices are going up or the prices are going down, you yourself, you can be able to place an order. And also uh, it's very efficient. As long as the market is one that is uh, from 9.30 to 3 p.m., you are able to place an order real time. And as I mentioned, uh, this is one platform which we really encourage investors to utilize. When you look at how technology is really driving many businesses, you realize that things are changing. Nowadays, we need to be technologically advanced. So even you as, a, as an investor, please consider to, uh, to utilize such platform and you are able to create more time to do other things. And also you can concurrently uh, be monitoring the performance of your investment while doing other things. Uh, finally is the advisory services. As I mentioned before is that uh, we have an experienced investment team and research team. So we are able to advise you accordingly say that you are able to make a well-informed decision. You know, when it's come to stock market is that uh, there are so many factors to consider before making a decision. You can re reach our, our team, discuss with them that uh, maybe um, I'm planning to buy one, two, three, what's your opinion or what, uh, what exactly are you supposed to do? And at the same time, we'll be receiving uh, our invest uh, our, our research proposal on regular basis. So that is a uh, factors to consider. So uh, how does really research contribute to that decision? And how does Kingdom, Kingdom uh, Research Reports help you to make that decision? So what we have done is that uh, we make sure that you receive research reports on, uh, um, on daily, weekly, on daily and weekly uh, basis. At the daily and weekly are more of market reports. What has really happened on that material day? Like by close of business today, we'll be seeing, I know uh, a mm -hmm. number of us, if we normally have a look at how uh, we, we look at uh, on, uh, on uh, newspapers, how the stock market is performing. There's a, there's a, a column there which normally shows uh, uh, the top gainers, the top uh, losers, movers, such information are meant to inform your decision. Like if a company is a, is a top mover, there must be reason why that company is appreciating at that level. So these are some of the uh, uh, information which we summarize and it will be able to help you to consider that, uh, to consider how, how, you are, how you are supposed to make your decision. If a company is a top mover, that is now in terms of a number of shares traded, what are the factors making people or rather, what is it really uh, investors are considering say that they are um, uh, trading more uh, of uh, those shares? So those are some of the key uh, factors which uh, you have to consider from the daily and weekly market reports. We also share with you the company earning update and valuation reports. Uh, in this case, uh, we ensure that uh, you receive the company financial reports uh, we are what we normally does is we summarize whatever once a company announced their financial uh, reports. Uh, our in our research team normally have a look at it. Uh, they summarize in a in a way that you are able to understand easily, and and from there now you can be able to see how the company is performing, like cooperative bank. How is their profitability when you compare to the previous year? How are they performing? What is it expected going forward? So those are what you are. Uh, those are some of the information which you will be uh, receiving or rather getting from the company earnings and updates. We also share the sector reports. Sector reports, uh, which here in here, is, the, is whereby uh, our our market 
uh, as got several sectors of the economy, like the banking, insurance, agriculture, uh, manufacturing. So each and every sector has got its own dynamics. So from there, we are able to guide you and, uh, and give you uh, uh, mm -hmm. a summarized report on that sector that uh, maybe one, two, three is happening within the uh, ascertain sector. A very good example is that um, uh, way back in year 2017, there, uh, the uh, Treasury introduced the uh, interest rate uh, capping. What does that mean to the banking sector? From there, you can be able to uh, have a look at how the sector is, uh, is likely to perform going forward, and you are able to make informed decision immediately. We also uh, we, we are also in uh, uh, in the pandemic uh, uh, situation. There are some sectors which are, are negatively affected by this uh, pandemic. There are some other sectors which have been favored by this pandemic, like telecommunication industry, whereby uh, with the pandemic, individuals and corporates who are embracing technology in terms of uh, hosting events and also uh, operations. So you find that those are some of the windfall revenue for the telecommunication industry. And one uh, listed company is the Farcom, which, was, which is really doing well. And it's because of such a windfall uh, uh, business for the likes of that uh, such a telecommunication company. Uh, to the service industries, what does it uh, mean when we, this pand uh, pandemic started? And now that we have the likes of uh, the, 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 the global rollout roll out of uh, COVID-19 vaccine, what are we expecting going forward in the next uh, one month, two months, three months, and even up to one year? We also provide a macroeconomic report. This is whereby that this one we normally does on quarterly basis. So we have also the global uh, uh, economic performance and then we uh, correlate with our local economy. Uh, if uh, this one we factor in the likes of uh, oil prices, how are they performing and how is it going to affect some of the listed companies? How is the Kenya economy going to perform in response to maybe uh, oil prices going up or, uh, or even uh, dropping? Uh, this is one area whereby you are able to project and say that in the next quarter, what are we what are we expecting from the stock market? So what are we supposed to do right now? So that by the time the next quarter approach or during that quarter, we are able to exercise a return from that such impact. We have the currencies, how is the dollar performing? How is the shilling performing? So those are some of the, um, the content of the macro uh, reports. We also ensure that uh, you receive the fixed income analysis. Uh, as I mentioned before, these are the government uh, securities and also the corporate, uh, the corporate uh, bonds. Uh, finally is the market news. Uh, I mentioned before that it's a very, very dynamic uh, uh, market whereby information is very key. So wherever we have information which we feel like it, should, it will affect your investment, we make sure that we share with you on time so that you can be able to make that decision at the right time. Uh, finally, uh, other services which uh, we also provide is the corporate assets and the client brochure. Uh, in case maybe you feel like uh, you need more information from any listed company, we are able to uh, approach a listed company and then from there, yeah, you can have a meeting. Uh, we ensure that uh, you receive uh, first hand information in terms of uh, how, are they, 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 how are their strategies, how are they going to execute uh, such strategies. From there, we are able to see clearly what are we expecting from such uh, a listed company. Uh, client brochures is also whereby, in case you are a member of an investment group and you feel like uh, maybe you want uh, us to uh, talk to your team uh, in terms of how they can benefit when it comes to investing in a Nairobi Security Exchange, we are willing to do so. If you are a member of a SACO and maybe uh, you want uh, your SACO to, to be uh, part of inv investors in uh, Nairobi Security Exchange, we'll be able to guide you on the same. Uh, when it comes to investing or rather any investment, one key factor here is what the benefit of that investment. How is it going to grow your wealth? So when you look at the Nairobi Securities Exchange, this is one investment whereby 
it over a very good saving platform. When we talk of saving is uh, that uh, our market is flexible enough to accommodate as little as, um, okay, the minimum um, uh, number of shares you can invest in, or you can invite as an, invest in, as an investor is 100 shares. So the determining amount to invest is the price. So you can see we have companies trading even below five shilling. So from there you can see with the little amount you can be an investor. So this act as a very, very good uh, uh, investment platform. Uh, a good example is uh, like Safaricom, which was listed way back in 2008 uh, through an IPO at a price of five shillings. Uh, right now, the company is trading at 40 shillings. So you can see someone who have been buying periodically uh, Safaricom shares, uh, they have got a very good, or rather they have grow their portfolio due to the value uh, which the company uh, gain as a, uh, in terms of the price. Because you can consider someone who invested 100,000 during the IPO time. Right now, if that person or investor is uh, to sell, uh, he or she will get a cool Kenya shilling 800,000. When you compare with other investment, this is one area whereby you can get very, it can, it can act as a very good saving platform. So it's what I'm actually considering. And as I mentioned, it's very flexible. Uh, the minimum number of shares to be invested is uh, you can buy is only 100. Another benefit is uh, this um, uh, is a very good way of uh, protecting your investment against inflation and taxes. When you look at the inflation uh, rates of the country, always the performance of Nairobi Securities Exchange is above the inflation rate. So it's able, it, you are able to, uh, to cover for the inflation and get uh, better returns uh, from the stock market. Uh, also, when it comes to taxes, we have only two taxes applicable in, uh, in our market. Uh, that is the withholding taxes on uh, dividends, that is just 5%, and also VAT 16%, which is uh, applicable when you are transacting. Uh, you, when you compare with other investi uh, investments whereby the likes of capital gains are applicable, here you are able to maximize your returns because of few applicable taxes. Uh, you consider when you are selling uh, some other asset is that you must uh, remit the uh, capital gain taxes. Yeah, you don't. So it's a very, very good investment platform. Uh, also, this one area whereby you can maximize income on investments. Uh, I, I, I will refer to the same company I had mentioned before that is a Safaricom. You can see that in a span of about in a span, in a span of about, uh, of about uh, 12 years, the company has gained over 500%. Where else are you able to get a return of 500% compounded over that duration? Please, this is the time to make a decision and consider taking position in this market. Uh, finally, is, uh, you can use uh, the, uh, the product you have purchased as a security, uh, as a, you can use as a collateral. Uh, in this case, uh, you can approach um, uh, our, 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 our bank that is a cooperative bank. Once you have purchased um, uh, any of the product and then you secure the same, uh, you, you, say you, you use the same to secure a facility. What will happen here is that uh, they will make an assessment of uh, your portfolio. And then from there, they will be able to tell you how much you can, you, you will qualify uh, uh, rather to secure a facility with that uh, portfolio. And now, when it comes to transacting with Kingdom Securities, the applicable brokerage commission, which is a transaction base, meaning that uh, you are only charged when you are buying and selling uh, shares. So in this case, we, are, we have a threshold of Kenya shilling 100,000. If you are transacting shares of a value less than 100,000, commission is 1.78. And if it is above 100,000, commission is 1.46. And regulatory fees and VAT commission, uh, brokerage commission applicable, 0 0.34 and 16% uh, respectively. Our, our rates are competitive. When you look at uh, other, other, other brokers out there, they do charge account opening fee, account maintenance fee, kingdom securities, these are the only applicable fee. Account opening is free. We don't have account maintenance fee. So this is 
advantages and tech advantage for the same. Uh, for VAT, initially it was not uh, it was not applicable until uh, year 2020 when the government introduced through a finance act. So as a patriotic citizen, we are required to remit the same. Also, there's a court case um, in reference to the same, but at the moment we are required to remit that. Uh, now, <clears throat> as I mentioned before, is that uh, I will share with you the requirement to open a CDS account. And there are some forms that you will fill and there are some documents you will be provided, you will be required to provide. The forms to be completed are available at the branch level as well as our head office. So you will be required to provide your Kenya national ID or the Kenya passport. And then also a colored passport size photo. Uh, that one is a certified bank statement or a, a checklist for a bank card, in this case, uh, ATM. And finally, is the KRA PIN certificate. Uh, for the bank statement, uh, we need to confirm that you are the account holder for that account which you are going to, uh, which you are provided, so that when you are um, you qualify for dividends from a listed uh, company, we'll pay to that uh, the company to the to the, to the bank account you provided, and also when you sell your shares, they will be paid to your the, the, the bank account you provided the bank statement. So those are the requirements. For the circles and investment group, we can be able to share with you. And also, you can visit any of our cooperative bank branches and you'll be able to get more details for the same. Otherwise, these are for the individual uh, CDS account opening requirement. So uh, uh, thank you very much uh, um, for, 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 for that uh, engagement. So we are looking forward to having more engagement with you so that you can be able to guide you on how you can be able to maximally utilize uh, uh, returns from Nairobi Securities Exchange. Uh, when you look at the performance of Nairobi Securities Exchange, it is on upward trend at the moment. Reason being that uh, we have seen how governments have been responding to COVID-19 in terms of uh, rollout of uh, COVID-19 vaccine. So, we are seeing companies uh, resuming operation. So in stock market, this is the right time to take position. So that by the time the economy is on full recovery and also in full operations, we are able to realize good returns in terms of prices. You look at those companies which initially they are suspended or rather they, have, they had closed down or they were uh, partially uh, in a partial lockdown. Right now, they are resuming operation. What does it mean? It means that clearly by the, in the next uh, six months or even up to one year there, the prices will be at a very, very high rate. Uh, our market uh, in terms of uh, activities is uh, dominated by uh, foreigners. So it means that this is one market whereby there are still very, very good opportunities because you can, um, if someone is willing actually to come and invest in, uh, in a market, uh, uh, in our market, it means there's a very, very good opportunity. So I do ask you that. Let you be part of this channel. Thank you very much. Looking forward to more discussion on the same. I uh, will share our contact uh, at the end of this uh, presentation so that you can be able to reach us and we'll guide you on how you can be an investor and benefit a lot from Nairobi Securities Exchange. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you so much, uh, Dennis, uh, for that uh, insightful session. And uh, yeah, you've taken us very well in terms of uh, what are even the benefits of uh, us investing through the stock exchange. And you've talked about building our savings and maximizing the income on investments. You've talked about the protection uh, mm -hmm. from inflation and taxes and uh, the use of securities as, as a collateral. So I think that is quite quite uh, insightful and um, saying that the, the opportunities, there are uh, opportunities that are there in the stock market and uh, our business customers even as we talk about COVID uh, and the challenges that we went through, we can maximize our investment opportunities so that we don't just have one line. And I know this information, we are able to get um, even more details of, of, through our branches and we'll also be sharing the contacts. I want to advise you that even as we proceed, 
uh, we will uh, request you to share your questions and you'll be able to answer them during the question and answer session. We still have a small session that we learn on the um, e-credit for business people to say what are some of uh, the ways that the core bank will still support us uh, to access finance even uh, digitally. And uh, uh, what we're seeing is that uh, we're also going through the um, digital transformation where now uh, many people are taking solutions of uh, loans through our mobile phones. And we also have uh, a, a session on the same. And after that, we'll have some questions and answers being answered. Uh, and I see already there are questions that are coming uh, through the question and answer uh, put down there. So I want to invite uh, Moses Rob. Moses Rob will be taking us through another session on uh, e-credit for business customers and what are some of the benefits and how do we even get it, uh, 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 you know, how do we even access it uh, in our branches. So Karibu Sana Moses Rob to take us through that session, Asante. Thank you, thank you, Peter. And uh, welcome all our customers. Um, thank you also, Dennis for the presentation on uh, shares uh, trading. And I think uh, from what uh, Dennis has shared about uh, real-time trading, my primary responsibility in this bank is to ensure that MSME customers, their needs are taken care of, their digital financial needs are taken care of, so that uh, they, they, they can be able to leverage on, on the loans that we're giving through the channel, that is our mobile banking channel, Cash, to take advantage of the opportunities that are available online in terms of share trading and all the other businesses that uh, the customer, need, an MSME customer needs to run on a day-to-day basis, especially with the current uh, reality of uh, the, 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 the new normal. Now, most of uh, our operations are moving from manual to digital and uh, for that we 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 always ensure that uh, we are available in that space to take care of your needs and uh, that is where e-credit comes in and uh, for this i'll i'll, I'll, I'll uh, dwell much on the msme credits what it entails and um, the journey so far how we have worked with the msme customer and uh, what 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 the, the new what are what are our new frontiers in terms of working with the MSME customer in terms of uh, giving them financial information financial needs and also uh, advisory financial advisory in terms of uh, digital transactions. So um, I'll I'll start by explaining what uh, e credit is to a business customer in that uh, for an MSME customer, there, there, there are a lot of uh, uh, activities that happens on a daily basis in, 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 your, in, your, in, your, in your business uh, premise. And yes, now, uh, thanks, thanks. So I'll, I'll start by uh, explaining what uh, this business e credit uh, entails. And uh, this is basically the loans that we advance digitally, that is through the mobile. And this is currently offered on our MCOP Cash app and uh, our USSD platform, that is star 667. It's also available, and uh, we are still uh, growing our coverage on uh, the Omni platform for customers who are on Retail Omni and uh, star 557 for the customers who are on uh, Omni USSD. For MSME credit, our limits in terms of uh, the finances that we offer is uh, we give you between a limit of 1,000 to a limit of Kenya shillings, 1 million. I think uh, probably we are one of the few, if we are not, if, if not uh, the only one, who is offering such a, a high limit of, uh, of, of, of credit digitally that is unsecured. And we are doing this basically because uh, we are trying to tailor make our MSME e-credit solution to take care of the needs 
of the business customer exclusively. And we are moving, uh, we are moving the MSME credit from the space where we, so the, the mobile, the normal mobile lending space where the customer is, is looked at as an individual and now moving to looking at the customer as a business that you need this money and uh, this money is meant for business purposes. So the, 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 the limits that we offer should be sufficient to take care of the immediate short-term business needs. That's why we have moved our limits up to Kenya shillings 1 million for MSME uh, e-credit. We offer these loans for a period between one and six months. And uh, currently the customer chooses the period that you want to repay the loan with, that is between one and six months, whichever is convenient. This is actually informed by your business cycles. Or, uh, or, 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 yeah, your business cycles, or the, 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 the time that it takes for your business to turn around and to, to your capital to move. So, you, within one and six months, the customer determines the period to pay. You also choose the amount that is convenient to take care of the immediate need between one thousand Kenya shillings to Kenya shillings one million. And uh, who qualifies for MSME credits? We offer these credits to uh, sole customers, individuals. We also offer these to partnerships, registered partnerships. And uh, currently we also offer it to limited companies. This is a bit exciting. And uh, like I said, that it is uh, that we are looking at the business as the business. We are trying to move from looking at the owner or the individual that runs the business and looking at the business for us to ensure that we provide the business with the current level of financing that it needs. So um, for individuals, it's uh, pretty straightforward that an individual customer has an account and uh, the account has business funds being channeled through their cash flows, their business cash flows coming through this account. This uh, customer is registered on MCOP cash. And uh, after banking with us for a minimum period of six months, these customers are eligible for individual business loan. For the sole proprietors, these are basically the registered uh, entities which are run by one individual. Still uh, the same, we appraise the account or we, 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 we credit rate the account and uh, assign a limit to that account after the minimum banking period of uh, six months. And the individual who is the proprietor of that account can be able to apply for the MSME credit loan subject to eligibility. Now coming to the limited companies, I think uh, this is where I need to spend uh, a few minutes just to explain how it works. You know, it's, uh, it's, one, it's, it's one of our kind in the industry right now, whereby we offer a mobile loan to a limited company. And most of the limited companies are, have multiple directors or multiple signatories. So probably the question would be, how is this actualized? And uh, this is actually informed by the current uh, happenings in the economy where most of the businesses are moving to digital. There's a lot of uh, physical interactions in terms of the delivery of goods and services and even receiving and making payments. So just to be able to be in that space and to ensure that the operations are seamless, we have introduced a lending, a mobile lending, MSMEs to limited companies where we have one, uh, one, one, one director. Uh, the director is the one who is uh, registered to the single director is the one who is registered on mobile banking. And then uh, there are a few documents that the director will sign at the branch just uh, because of uh, the separate legal entity between a limited company and as an individual. There is a, these are two different separate legal entities, but we are trying to, 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 to link the, the, the director and the company to enable them to borrow. So for a single signatory uh, limited companies, 
once they are pre-qualified after the minimum banking period of uh, six months, the director visits the branch, then they get to know the amount they qualify for. We also notify the directors. Once we pre-qualify limited companies, we usually, we usually notify the directors by SMS that your account has, your business account has been pre-qualified for this uh, amount of uh, loan on MCOP cash. You visit the nearest branch to register and access this money immediately. What happens at the branch is uh, there are a few forms that the director fill. We are trying to minimize the documentation. This is a one-off documentation whereby the, 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 the forms are just linking the, 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 the entity as a limited company, the director. And once that is completed, then the company is enabled in the system to borrow. And uh, the mobile number that the director would have signed with at the branch is where the, the, the money will be delivered to. And that is the primary mobile number that will be registered for MCOP cash. For the ones with multiple signatories, still the same process, but this one entails a nomination of one of the directors to borrow on behalf of all the directors. And uh, the account is pre-qualified. The, all the directors sign that uh, they have nominated. So uh, say director A as, 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 as uh, the principal agent to borrow on MCOP cash. And then, that is, and then they give us a designated mobile number where the loan will be delivered. The documentation for limited company is one off and uh, you will not need to do any uh, form of documentation for subsequent loans. That process of nomination is one off and subsequently the same process having been captured in our systems would will be using that same number to deliver the loan proceeds each time, anytime the business needs some capital, some top up here and there, that mobile number will be the one that is receiving the, the loan proceeds. Until when now the directors visit the branch, make changes in terms of who has been nominated uh, or make changes in terms of which mobile number to receive the funds in case of changes in the company and all that. But uh, that is a new space. We, 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 and we acknowledge the fact that everything around MSME customers is moving online and, and we want to move with so that there is no interruption in terms of, or there is no gap in financing. We'll move with you to the digital platforms that you explore, especially with the current uh, changes in the economy. Then uh, how do I qualify for business loan? Uh, that probably that's the question that uh, most MSME customers are asking themselves. And uh, qualification is, 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 is uh, easy and it's, it's simple. And uh, we deliver this information to the customers. And uh, as we update, we also deliver this uh, from time to time. And uh, the key in business is regular and consistent cash flows. This is what we call, in other words, turnover. Like you, you're in business. How do you receive your payments? Or how do you receive your, your sales? When you make a sale, how do you receive? When you are making a payment, how do you pay? So what payments and receiving of proceeds from sales is what we call cash flow. But in this case, um what really qualifies you for loan is the incoming cash flows like you see how much of uh, of, 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 of 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 your turnover is coming through your account so as much as possible as an msme customer always try to ensure that all your business sales the proceeds are received through an account because that will uh, assist us to ascertain your level of bankings in terms of turnover and also assist us to assign the correct limit for a loan that will sufficiently cater for your needs because uh, we will not want to underfinance uh, a customer because we we'll want the customer to, 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 to realize the full potential that is presented by the, 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 the business or the operating space that they are in. So, ensure that all your bankings are channeled through the account 
and that will inform a loan limit that will set on your MSME e credit. Something else that we look at, we look at a good credit standing. And by good credit standing, this can be broken down into quite a number of areas that we look at. But of importance is uh, what is what is what is the what is the MSME customer reputation in terms of uh, borrowings, the past borrowings, what is the borrowing and repayment history? Uh, has this customer borrowed elsewhere before? How was that loan paid? Uh, how, 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 how is the customer relating to suppliers in terms of uh, is the customer is the customer paying for the supplies within the, the, the agreed period? Those are the things that we consider in credit uh, standing. And how are the account balances moving? How, we, how is the customer making payments that they fold you? Is, is it that the customer is paying uh, the, 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 the payments that fold you? Is it that the customer is paying on time? Is it the customer is prepaying? Is it the customer is paying in, 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 in behind uh, the scheduled time? Th those are the things that informs your credit standing. It's very important. I know most MSME customers are conscious about their credit standing and uh, even uh, honoring payments and uh, checks in transfers and all that, because it informs uh, the, your level of, uh, of, of borrowing, the, the, the level of uh, or the limit is assigned based on the, 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 the level of credit standing. If the customer is in a good credit standing, then the customer would enjoy a higher limit or will enjoy a loan for a longer period and uh, vice versa. It happens uh, every, and I know quite a lot of uh, organizations are now providing the credit standing. And uh, I know there are quite uh, a number of bureaus that provides your credit score and uh, the customer is able to gauge their credit standing from time to time. And these services are even available digitally. You can be able to see what your bureau score is digitally. You can do that for your business. And uh, this is to encourage uh, the MSME customer at this point that as you transition from the individual to a sole proprietor to a limited company, let's also transition our financial um, activities in terms of bankings, borrowings to to the, to, to, to the space that we are operating in so that you don't have a good credit standing as an individual customer and your company has no credit standing because there is no record of any borrowing and repayment. The, the customer is just used to borrowing as an individual. So even as the business grows and the customer moves to the sole proprietor to the limited company space, they don't move with their credits or they don't prepare their credit standing or um, improve their credit standing on the different entities that they trade with. I think that is uh, something key that uh, the MSME customer needs to be conscious about, that as we grow our business and transition, let's move with our good credit standing from individual to the entities that we are in. Number three is uh, is supposed to, or the customer is, for the, for, the, for the customer to enjoy the MSME credits, they need to be on MCOP cash platform because basically, as we say, these are digital loan. The delivery mm -hmm. and the decisioning is done digitally. So you make an application and it's a real-time application. It's a real-time uh, appraisal that we consider your application real-time as you, as, as, as you continue to process on your phone. And we also do that disbursement and deliver the funds to your MCOP cash digitally. And the uh, point to note here is uh, if you have any other facility with us, you have your running cap, you, your working capital, your mortgage, your asset finance, you're still repaying these facilities. Note that MSME credit can still fulfill your short-term financial needs. These are short-term loans to bridge the gap in financing, to bridge the gap in uh, demand and supply, we deliver this money anytime, notwithstanding any other facility that you have with us. So uh, we also have a, a salary credit solution. This will take care of the employees of this MSME customer. As we take care of the needs of an MSME customer digitally, 
we'll also want uh, you to take care of the personal needs of your employees in terms of we, you can empower them to have salary loans with cooperative bank. And this is uh, made possible by uh, the employees opening a salary account or the, the, the MSME customer since your main account is with us. Also sensitize the employees to have accounts with us. This will make even the payments easier because you can manage and you, you, can, you can be able actually to reconcile your, 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 your finances better when everything is within COP. So they open salary accounts, we can give them a limit of up to 500,000. And uh, for salaried loans, they can pay it up to three months. This is short term, uh, short, short term financing for a salaried person, call them salary advances. It can be a um, one month, two month or three month salary advance based on their net pay. The maximum is 500,000. The minimum is also 1,000. And who qualify for this is all employees operating a COP salary account, including all the employees of all our MSME customers. And uh, how does one qualify for a salary loan? Uh, one needs to have an active salary account. And by an active salary account, I mean it's an, a salary account that is uh, open in our system and uh, receiving salary payments through that account. The account should have at least one salary credit in the last three months. And um, based on that, how many salary credits the account has, what is the net, who is the employer, then that determines the limit. And also this facility can run uh, concurrently with uh, the other facilities that the customer could have with the bank, the personal loan started finances, and even credit card and mortgage facilities. So um, let me talk briefly about the advantages of having this credit facility. Uh, say these loans are cheaper in terms of loan fees and interest. I know uh, most, most uh, customers, especially the MSME customers, are conscious about uh, the, 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 the cost of a loan. Because uh, remember, the cost of a loan also is as, as uh, it's into the margins that the customer makes in terms of business. This is your profit margin. Then, uh, how much did you pay for a loan for you to have that capital so that as you com or, or compute and uh, find out what are your margins in terms of profit and even to inform your selling price, then. Uh, we are making this facility as cheap as possible. I know that the, the, these facilities are offered uh, at uh, very high rates by, by, by the other players in the industry, even the vintage and uh, other mobile money lenders. That uh, I think the minimum, the minimum rate that is charged by other players in the industry is 7.5% per month. And uh, we say ours is cheaper. Why? Because we charge an, 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 uh, a rate of 4% per month. That is in terms of the processing fee and the interest per month. We charge 4.5%, uh, which is way cheaper than this average of 7%, and even at the high of up to 15% that uh, some players charge per month. Number two, these uh, facilities purely unsecured. We don't link your mobile loan to any security that you have given to us. And uh, if you have no borrowing history and no security with us, you still qualify for this facility. It's an unsecured facility. It's a facility that is introduced to the bank to, 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 to cater for the needs of the customers who are unbanked mostly. And uh, in the MSME space, the micro and small customers have challenges of accessing finances because they don't have security. We are telling you that in our MCOP cash platform, under MSME eCredit, we can give you up to a maximum of Kenya shillings, 1 million instantly on mobile and secured. The other, the, the other uh, benefits that uh, an MSME customer enjoys with this facility is this facility is very easy to access. 
Why? It's offered on mobile. Our mobile, our mobile uh, services are available 24-7. And uh, anytime in the course of the day, in the course of the night, once you're done with your daily reconciliations, you can see the gap that is for the next day or you want to book stock early enough. Most of uh, MSME customers would who are dealing with the daily stock have to book their stock as early as 3 a.m. in the morning. The banks are not open at that point. The convenience that comes with mobile banking is you can just log into your MCOP cash and get your loan at 3 a.m. or 2 a.m. Send it to the supplier at 3 a.m., buy your goods, make a, make, make a loan repayment at midnight, as in it's, 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 it's a service that is easily accessible and it's 24-7. Then uh, the other advantage is uh, fast and uh, we deliver the de credit decision fast and we deliver this very uniformly because uh, the, 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 this is delivered by an automated system which operates in a standard way that uh, you apply for a loan and you get to, to know the approval of that loan in the next minute and actually get that money deposited to your mobile instantly there is no worry of i made this application i don't know what the bank has said calling the, the, the bank to find out if they approved your loan or not this is a decision that we deliver fast and we deliver it uniformly so if you operate the same way so you, 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 your cash flows and everything is consistent and everything you'll be sure that you'll apply for this loan and you'll get it the decision is fast and uniform then uh, in terms of repayment, I, this is also a first uh, in terms of, uh, in comparison to other players also in the, mo the, the mobile lending space that we give you a flexible repayment. Why? We know sometimes there is a delays in receipts of funds and uh, a customer may not be able to service and there are business uncertainties also that you are not able to service the full loan that is due in one month. So for a business customer, we break this down and tell you that you can pick this amount of loan and you can make a payment of up to six months. So if you pick a loan to pay in one month, then the loan will be due in 30 days. If you pick the loan to pay in six months, then the loan will be split into six installments and you'll be paying an equivalent of one installment every month. So it's, it's very flexible repayment up to six months. I still uh, haven't uh, encountered a player that is giving a business loan on mobile of up to six months. So I think uh, those are th th those th th those are the solutions that we provide, and uh, we 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 make decisions in terms of providing and making it flexible as such because we we'll want to meet the customers of the, to meet the needs of this MSME customer, whether it's the digital loans the shares and everything, we customize our solutions to match the space and the pace that the business is moving. Then uh, I think that, that, that's it for MSME eCredits. And uh, we continue to provide this information in such forums, like uh, webinars, and in case there is any, there, there, there is any question, post them on the chat and We'll keep engaging, we'll respond to all your questions. And this information is also available in our website and uh, our contacts will be shared also at the end of this presentation. Thanks, Peter, and thanks our customers for listening. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, Rob, you can read from your end. And uh, even before you leave, uh, uh, Rob, I think there are a few questions that are coming and uh, I think you have shared very, very good insights on uh, this uh, credit. Uh, people keep on asking, how do I even access? Is it even available? And how do I even start to know where I uh, my limit is? So I think a few questions have come. Before you leave, I want you to answer. Uh, before then, I invite um, Dennis to, to, to answer the questions regarding the kingdom securities. Eh? Sylvia Nzambu is asking, how do you determine your loan limit to a customer? She's saying, my loan limit is 9K. I have banked for you, I have banked with you for two years. Uh, then I, how do I 
access uh, that uh, you know money and in bigger in bigger numbers. So, so you want to answer that. Then there, there's another question here from Dana. We know. Can such loans be applicable to school businesses? So uh, you want to answer that as well. Maybe another one here from David Muikai. This is a very educative uh, session. Uh, question to Moses. What about a case of either to sign mandate? How do such access the mobile loan? Yeah, so for either to, um, to sign, I think uh, you need to comment on that. There's another question here also you need to note, um, Rob. Uh, from Joseph Poire. Can one sign up for loan and for pop cash loan, uh, purely digital, without coming to the banking hall to complete the manual manual forms? The last one from David Muigai. You will answer them uh, briefly. Uh, David is saying, I run a school, and every time I apply via star six six seven hash for a business plus loan. The appraiser says request has failed for I do not qualify for this loan. I have reasonable turnovers and, and meet all the requirements as per your presentation. What could be the problem? I think those are very good questions coming from uh, customers and um, you could answer before we go to the questions for Dennis Langat. Go ahead. Thanks, thanks, uh, Peter. I think. Uh... The questions coming in are quite, uh, the, the, the questions are useful actually for information purposes. And I think uh, these are the information that will deliver to customers at this channel. Uh, Sylvie is asking how we arrive at the loan limit. Uh, if you remember just uh, briefly when I presented about uh, the, the, how the, how how do I qualify? Uh, key thing is uh, the cash flows. Key thing is the cash flows. That is number one. The number two is the credit standing. I think those are the things that I took some time to explain. And um, in terms of uh, cash flows, we look at what is your average, and we 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 consider this uh, for six months. You, 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 your last six months, what's your average banking levels? And uh, the, the, the bankings in this case is, we're talking about uh, consistency and regular income. So in a six months period, what is the average that, that, that you did in terms of credit turnover? And then what is your credit standing? It's a combination of the two. We give you a percentage of what you bank as your loan limit, just to be sure that when this loan falls due, you do not strain your business and you're not strained to repay. So we give you as a percentage. And we, the percentage ranges from 10% to 50%, depending on your credit uh, standing. For example, if you're on the highest uh, credit standing or your, your credit score is high, that what we'd call the credit score, if your credit score is high, we'll give you up to 50% of your average credit turnover. So if your average credit turnover is say 500,000, then you can access up to 250,000 if you are on the highest uh, credit standing, that is what you call credit score. And uh, you could also get uh, a minimum of up to 10% of that turnover. So it's actually a combination of your cash flows and your credit standing. I hope I've answered that. Then a question from Dan, are schools eligible for this product? Yes. Then basically this is a MSME credit. So the schools, the private schools, in this case, the private schools which are operating in our MSME space are pre-qualified and they're eligible for, 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 for this facility. And we'll share the contacts at the end of the presentation. So probably you can share the details of your, your school and the account that you operate for the school. We'll I'll review that and surely get back to you. But yes, the, 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 the facility is available to all MSME customers, including the ones who are operating private schools. Uh, David asked of uh, ATA to sign, is, is, is it possible to have a loan for customers or the customers are operating an account with the mandate of ATA to sign. 
Yes, uh, for registered entities, remember this is purely an MSME credit facility. So for registered uh, entities, which are either to sign or even sign both to sign or any three to sign, th those ones are uh, covered by this product. We are also working on delivering these to joint accounts. That, uh, that is joint accounts with either to sign or both to sign. And by joint accounts, I mean the accounts which are jointly held by two individuals, say Moses and uh, Peter. And uh, maybe we've set Moses to sign, either Moses or Peter to sign or both of us to sign. We are working on delivering that to joint account holders. But for MSMEs, either individual, a registered partnership or registered business uh, name, registered limited company, all those we deliver this uh, solution irrespective of the signing instructions. Then uh, uh, where I asked of, is it possible to deliver these uh, loans, MSME loans digitally without the customer having to sign any physical document? And uh, my answer would be yes, that these facilities that we are offering on mobile uh, purely digital facilities. However, for the registered entities, and in this case, uh, registered partnerships and limited companies, where there are more than one party involved. There are two partners, there are three partners, there are four directors. Init for the initial uh, onboarding or for the re initial registration, then uh, these directors need to visit a branch so that they they do a resolution that they, they, they want to enjoy this facility. And at that point, they give uh, the agent who has been nominated to borrow and the mobile number where we deliver the loan to. I think it's only for that one off registration where you introduce the mobile number where we deliver the loan to because it's a mobile loan, which is delivered to only one mobile number at a time. Uh, um, uh, David talked of uh, a challenge in application for the law. Each time he dials a uh, star 667. Uh, David, uh, at the end of this call also, will share the contact. Please, uh, you can just drop a mail or you can give us a call. We go through your specific uh, application and know where the challenge is and uh, advise you on how that challenge can be resolved. And if it's a challenge we resolve on our end, we'll resolve that and deliver the loan to your end. Thank you, thank you, Peter. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Moses Rob, for that uh, insight. I want to uh, transit to the other presenter. That is, um, maybe you can put off the camera. Uh, as 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 Dennis Langat comes in, maybe uh, there are a few questions that had come earlier, and I have seen uh, the MD of um, Kingdom Securities uh, Limited. That is Anthony. Uh, has joined. Maybe if there are questions that uh, you feel that you want to also want to answer, maybe you can also uh, join us. Uh, Dennis attempts to answer the questions that I already asked. Uh, starting maybe with the first question, uh, some question from uh, Dennis Were. So kindly advise if it's possible to automate funds transfer to the CDS account for investment and visa for dividends. Then there's another question also from uh, Evans Mudanya. He's asking, is trading, buying, and selling just a daily activity or is it an hourly, minute, or even often thing? I know there is always the starting and end of the day numbers. So you want to comment on that, uh, Dennis. Uh, there's, there's a question that had been asked earlier by Evans Mudanya also on uh, CDSC. So he's asking, does that mean certificate of deposits? Um, so, so uh, maybe maybe one more uh, for you. Uh, there's a question here coming from Timothy Aperit. Is the brokerage fees inclusive of all exclusive, exclusive of VAT? Is there short selling in the Kenya stock market? How can one build an efficient portfolio? Maybe the last one uh, for you. Uh, Dennis is coming from Joanne Ogoya. And she's asking, I have a CDS account with Kingdom Securities that is currently dormant. Can it be reactivated at any of your branches? Then what do I need to do that? 
maybe answer those questions first. Thank you. Uh, thank you for <coughs> sir. Uh, thank you for questions uh, presented, and uh, uh, I will answer. Now, uh, for for us, uh, nowadays CDS accounts um, are normally declared dormant if you have not transacted for the last uh, for the last two years. And I'm sure a number of uh, current investors are receiving uh, are receiving communication from CDSC. Are uh, requesting that uh, you check uh, the status of your CDS account. So an account, when an account has been declared dormant, it means you cannot uh, transact, you can buy or even sell shares. So in this case, you will be required first to update your profile so that from there you can be allowed to transact thereafter. Yes, it is possible to uh, reactivate the CDS account at the branch level. In this case, uh, you will uh, submit uh, the, the documents you will be required to provide a passport size photo, a photocopy of your national ID or passport, whichever was used when opening CDS account. Uh, you need also to provide your carry pin. And finally, is either a certified bank statement or a photocopy of an ATM card. Uh, with the four documents, uh, you will be given uh, two forms uh, to complete. Uh, that is the one for reactivation, as well as also uh, another one to update your mandate. Uh, kindly not uh, once you reactivate, please, uh, at least uh, every uh, be doing regular transactions so that the account cannot be declared again dormant. So yes, you can, uh, such services are available at the branch level. Please visit the branch so that you can be able to reactivate that account. Uh, is, is also a question concerning the VAT, whether it is inclusive, uh, whether it is inclusive in the commission. Uh, the one I shared with you is the breakdown in terms of the actual commission we are charging as kingdom securities and regulatory levies as well as the VAT. So like uh, I mentioned before is that the commission is 1.78 and then we have uh, regulatory levy 0.34 and finally the 16% on commission. I, ideally, uh, total will be coming to 1.8% for if you are transacting shares of a value above 100,000. So in this case, commission will be 1,800, and then 16% VAT is charged on that 1,800, so that you can be able to have the total amount which will be deducted for that transaction. Uh, CDSC is a regulatory uh, uh, body. Uh, who happen to be managing, as I mentioned earlier, is that uh, they are man they are actually they are the actual custodian of all CDS account. So CDS is the account, CDSC is the regulatory uh, body governing the brokers in relation to management of all CDS accounts. Uh, when it comes to activities, uh, the Nairobi Securities Exchange is on daily basis, and that is uh, from Monday to Friday and market opens 9.30 a.m. and close 3 p.m. Kenya time. So during uh, that time that is uh, from 9.30 to 3, 3 p.m., um, you are able to place orders in case uh, you, you are able to place uh, like, uh, orders uh, direct to the market. But uh, in case uh, maybe you have visited uh, uh, our head office or uh, any of our branches, you can place an order also off market for it to be executed the following day. So that one is how, that is how the market our market operates. Uh, in terms of uh, having an efficient portfolio, as I mentioned before, is that uh, there are so many factors to consider before someone invests because the uh, stock market is uh, is always fluctuating, and uh, we need to consider uh, you are investment objective and also your personal financial uh, uh, plan so that from there we can be able to give you a company which uh, uh, may be based on uh, your, your, your investment objective you are able to get you something which is going to fit you uh, we have companies who have been uh, paying dividends uh, very good dividends for a very long time so those are some of the things which you consider when you are um, uh, drafting a portfolio and also you need to consider investing across uh, sectors so that uh, at least you can have a, a well-balanced portfolio. Uh, and also at any given moment, in case maybe 
there is a, a financial demand and maybe you must sell at least there's a sector which uh, could be performing better at that time and you have got returns so you are able to sell uh, at a profit despite uh, being under pressure uh, maybe to sell such a stock so uh, efficient portfolio actually consider so many things but as i mentioned is that uh, um, uh, our staff will be able to assist you in terms of maybe arriving at uh, that uh, drafting that portfolio and what you need to do when you are building a portfolio so we will be able to guide you thereafter uh, thank you thank you peter thank um th this is anthony I, I have seen some few issues that have also been raised Maybe I can also comment on them. Um, yes, ahead, Thank you. I think the issue of automated payments to CDSC, uh, this one is almost seamless, uh, and mainly because of some of the issues that we have to, to adhere to in regulation. When you send us money, we need to make sure that one, it is your money. Uh, so you know, you know, in this bank, the bank has provided us a, our platform where when you send your money, you indicate your ID or CDS, but so that you can know your money. Of course, if you send money of more than a um, hundred thousand, we are required by regulation to, to get a um, uh, source of funds from to be completed, just to make sure that everything is okay. And because of this, then there's a, a small drag in terms of um, the money being put on a CDS. But yeah, this is almost seamless, and it it works uh, during trading. It's it we're able to actually and uh, make sure that this works. So you should not be scared about that. There's another question about whether certificates are obsolete. They're not obsolete in the sense that it still shows you have the shares. But just, just because you, you have the certificate doesn't mean your shares are gone. But we may say it doesn't help you in the sense that with that share, you cannot sell it or in certificate, you cannot get it as a um, guarantee to your loans. So unless your shares are in the CDSC format, then that is when they can help you. Uh, so, um, Certificate, yes, you have. It shows that you have the shares, but the only thing that you can get from that is is dividend. Uh, but if should you want to to use the shares as security, should you also use the shares? Should you want to sell the shares? You're not be able to sell them until the the shares are put onto the onto the CDSC. And the benefit of putting the shares on CDSC is one, you're able to take advantage of the price when it comes. Uh, when a good price comes, you're able to sell quickly. And more importantly, uh, we've had situations where the, um, we've, we've seen investors who have delayed the process of banking their, their dividend checks and uh, the unclaimed financial assets authority getting their shares or your, your dividends. And so when you open a CDS account, one of the things it helps you is to um, put your requirement that the requirement that for all your dividends you want them to be put in your bank account so, so that makes sure that you don't you, you're able to have your payment or your dividend payment made timely uh for i mean for those who are investors and you're paid by check uh i just like you to know to know that whereas the people who have given the the dividends to be paid by bank account are paid immediately the books are closed and payment is done for check payment is normally done about maybe two to three weeks after so it is important to have your everything put on to the to the to the to the bank account thank you i don't think that i think all of the questions that have been raised uh dennis has talked about to them thank you thank you so much uh, anthony yeah for for the additions and uh, those insights i think uh, now you've covered almost everything that uh have been asked uh, so, and, 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 and customers, you can see we have uh, portrayed our contacts there uh, on the screen. So uh, in terms of more details, I know there are some questions that have been asked and uh, we always make sure that we contact you back and we share uh, even this material and the video to your email. So uh, as we do that, please also pick the contacts maybe for more information uh, regarding the, uh, the stock exchange and also on the e-credit uh, so before then we wind up on that, I want uh, the Moses Rob, uh, no, 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 uh, Dennis Langer to just give the uh, closing uh, comments on his behalf. And then uh, before I invite uh, Rob, just to wind up on maybe one or two questions that have been asked on e-credit as we progress. So uh, Dennis Langer. 
Uh, thank you, Peter and uh, Anthony for that uh, clarification. Uh, we have uh, received uh, many questions and uh, for the interest of time, I uh, will be able to contact you individually. So uh, I think later on, expect uh, emails uh, from our side uh, in terms of uh, clarifying whatever we have asked. I think uh, before we had promised that uh, the meeting was to end at 12.30, uh, but uh, we have seen that uh, we still got question which we, uh, we didn't, we didn't uh, cover. So please, uh, uh, we will uh, contact you for the same so that you can be able to clarify on anything. Otherwise, thank you very much. Uh, you can uh, take a screenshot uh, in the, uh, to pick our contact details so that uh, for, uh, for purpose of communication, you can reach us. So the, uh, and then from there, we can be able to guide you in terms of how you can be able to be an investor at uh, Nairobi Securities Exchange. Uh, I've seen from the question, actually, we do have a good number who are already, who are already uh, investors, uh, which is really very interesting. Uh, but the question again is uh, how, 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 how are the returns uh, when you look at their portfolio? Is there something that maybe you are missing out? And I stand there saying Kingdom Securities is here to ensure that you grow your wealth. Thank you very much and have a pleasant afternoon. Thank you. Thank you, thank you Dennis. Uh, you can come and make your closing remarks. And as you do that, um, you want to comment on uh, two questions uh, that have been raised here by George. George is asking, uh, would you want to review the repayment? A period uh, that is up to six months maybe to add uh maybe you want to comment on that this one that has come but i think you had listed it's on the maximum limit for the e-credit for an individual that one is coming from alex gulavi so comment on to that uh, on the two questions and uh, give the closing comments uh, as we uh, try to wind up thank you Moses. Yeah. Moses, yeah, good. Thanks, thanks, uh, Peter. And uh, I'll pick the two questions first. Repayment period, uh, George, yes. Uh, we review MSME credit solution from time to time. And uh, that is one of the things that we look at. And uh, uh, once a review is done on the repayment period, and even though even the maximum limit on anything to do with uh, that particular solution, we will uh, we will let the customers know. But yes, we do reviews on all the aspects of our product, and uh, one of them is repayment period. Then uh, on maximum limit, Alex. For individual customer, any anybody operating in the MSME space, the maximum limit is one million, whether it's an individual, a business, or a limited company. Maximum limit is one million. Mm -hmm. And for the salaried loan, is the maximum limit is 500,000. Thank you. Then uh, Peter, thanks, thanks uh, for, for having me today. And uh, for our customers, MSME customer, thank you very much for attending. And uh, MSME credit sits at Business Banking, Operative Bank. And across our branch network, we have business bankers who can provide this information. If you have any information about the credit or any clarification that you need about the credit, please get in touch with your relationship uh, manager at the branch or even through our contact center, raise the issues they will get to us or raise them with us directly. My uh, telephone number is there, my email address is there. You can send an email, you can give us a call, we will address uh, the question. You can also give us feedback on our offering in terms of MSME e-credit. Any feedback in terms of what you feel, what review you feel the bank should do, we, we listen to an MSME customer. So any, any, our reviews are mostly informed by market surveys and the feedback we get from the customers. Give us that feedback and uh, let's engage. Through the branches directly, we are open and uh, we, we, we wish you all the best in your business. And uh, we look forward to having a forum like this again for MSME credit. Thank you.
Thank you, thank you, Moses. Let me go to the next uh, slide. Is to as we conclude. Um, thank you so much, uh, our 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 customers, even to you know to be patient and uh, having been there to listen to us uh, on one of the topics that you have really asked us to you know to give. And uh, we are glad that you joined. And in big numbers, I think we have we had more than two hundred customers attending. Uh, from um, uh, across the network, so we appreciate so much for you uh, for your time, and uh, thank you so uh, Moses and uh, Dennis Langat again for, for for the comments and the insights that you have shared. I know there are questions that are coming, and I will do what what we keep on doing in terms of giving back uh, the rather leasing back the, the issues that you you know released and uh, we able to answer and we able to call you and we able to even do emails to you after but i think our call to action is just to say please keep your relationship managers uh close to you uh, in the branches to give you more information because there's quite a number of information that uh, is is down there please uh, reach out to them so that they can give you more information uh, in the branches again we still encourage you to leverage on our platforms to no bank all your incomes because some of these solutions, the e credit that you're talking about, you're able to get it because uh, you're banking well with us. And we're saying present your financial and investment needs uh, to, your, to your managers and to your relationship uh, bankers down there uh, to say, This is what I'm looking for. And you're able to have a session with them and you say, This is what I'm looking at. And they're able to give you those insights. Um, we still encourage you to keep visiting our website. I think there's a portal down there. There's a link there that you can also get more information. And as you have seen, there are, there are detailed uh, information that maybe we did not uh, give uh, during the webinar, but you're able to get it uh, maybe the website that we have. Again, we continue to encourage all of us to keep safe um, uh, during this uh, pandemic and during this uh, COVID time we really want to you you to be in businesses and we really appreciate you to be there and we want to work with you in that journey so as we proceed to close mine is to really thank you so much it was a pleasure having all of you uh, uh all of you in the in this session we want to say asante nisana for joining and joining in big numbers and we'll continue to have this uh next week we have another session very exciting session again that will be training you on how to manage your businesses and you'll be sharing the topic as well through your email. Uh, so stay tuned for, for the same. So Asante Nisana, I want to wish you well in your businesses and may God bless you, Asante Nisana. Thank you so much, Antonio, as well from Kingdom Securities. You have also added your insights uh, even as we progress. Thank you, thank you too, thank you. <laughs>